Hey everybody, it's me, Adam Chapnick, with the Security Token Academy. I'm excited because I'm joined today by Luc Falampin. He's the CEO and founder of Tokeny. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. Of course, so you guys are doing a lot of exciting stuff, but first, for everybody who's watching, what is Tokeny? So Tokeny, it's a tokenization platform. Basically, we create tokens for clients, so issuers. Um, so we can handle um, STOs, security token offerings. So we onboard investors and we, of course, provide the full set of smart contracts. So we are an end-to-end -end solution to issue, manage, trade tokens. Amazing. So how did you guys, how did you personally get into this? How did that come about? Um, I've been an entrepreneur for almost a decade now. I uh, involved in the e-commerce industry before, so I know the software mostly. Um, and my previous company was doing online marketplaces. Hmm. So uh, when I heard about decentralized marketplaces, I'm like, okay, something's wrong. So I, something I didn't get. Uh, I have to, I have to understand that, and I started to read a lot about it. Uh, I think I booked my first Bitcoin in 2011, something like wow. that. So I already knew uh, what was crypto. Yeah. Um, and last year I exited my company, and uh, by talking with my previous investors, we we're like, okay, talking about tokens, you're talking about securities. I think we're talking about the same thing. So we should do something, a new venture. Um, and one year later, I'm there. <laughs> so. How about security tokens? When you started, did you envision that that would be something you'd be doing, or was yeah. that did that evolve? Yeah, we started with the vision of security tokens. Oh, entirely. Um, uh, I wanted to buy some stock options when I was student, and it was so it was impossible, like so expensive. I had to open a bank account. I had just a few money, and it was really hard to invest. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I booked some Bitcoin at that time. So uh, the uh, first vision of Tokeny was to uh, to give more access to uh, to this investment product to to people, to retail investors mostly. Uh, of course, the market was not there yet. Right. So we started with standard issuance platform for ICOs. So we ran a dozen of, uh, of ICOs already on the platform. And now we make this, um, this MVP evolve to handle um, security tokens as well. So we can onboard different kind of investors. It's, uh, it's more about compliance, about scalability, uh, but it's the next, uh, it's just an evolution of what we already do for, for a year. Yeah, now what, about, how does, where, what jurisdiction do you domicile in? Where are you guys based? So yeah, it's interesting because we are based in Luxembourg. Ah. So a very tiny village in Europe. Yes. <laughs> uh, between France, Germany, and Belgium. Yes. Uh, but it's actually the second place in the world with money under management. Oh wow! We have four thousand hedge funds in Luxembourg. Oh my and everybody goodness! Everybody know each other. Wow! So, uh, so it's really interesting. Um, it's uh, the center of Europe, mm -hmm. and Europe is moving in the right direction about uh, security tokens. Mm -hmm. So uh, we try to be uh, the, the leader in Europe. Uh, of course, Asia is moving very well. Yes. So we will open an office in Singapore very soon. Oh, terrific! And of course, the US is uh, the biggest market. Yes, but the slowest, it seems. <laughs> Not the slowest, but um, uh, you have security rules very uh, that are very uh, clear but very strict. Yes. So it's uh, it takes time to understand them and to understand who are the players around. Right. But it's possible if you play with the rules. Everything is possible. So. And does what you do is it dependent on any particular? Uh, jurisdiction or are you totally agnostic? We already have clients in five continents, mm. uh, so we are a global company. Yeah. Actually, the uh, issue of jurisdiction is important, but mm -hmm. uh, the investors' jurisdictions are very important as well. Right. You cannot distribute securities where you want, as you want. Right. Um, so we help our clients to, uh, uh, to manage that part and to be sure that they distribute uh, by following the rules. Yes. Got it. So what, what's the life cycle of a client? Like when, if I'm a guy and I say, I've heard about these security tokens, I want, I think mm -hmm. they give me what, liquidity? I want, they give me international access. Uh, I call you up and I say, help me out. Yeah, what, we, what do you do for me? We receive a lot of demands every month, yeah. but we only select the best projects. And you know, we are a software editor. So we don't do any kind of marketing, we don't do the uh, PPM, we don't do the white paper, we, we don't do all that stuff. We do okay. the technology part. Got it. And we do it as best as possible. Right. So um, we work with other partners to be sure the project is ready and well defined when it arrives to us. Got it. Um, and, and then we, uh, we enforce the compliance rules directly in the solution, uh, depending on the, uh, the investor we want to onboard, uh, the countries of uh, distribution and so on. So we, uh, for us, it's a set of parameters to ensure the, the compliance and the, um, um, the onboarding of investor in a proper way. 
What's the most exciting part of the security token industry right now? It's, it's gone from zero to 60 in a year. What, what do you yes, think? exactly. What? It's very fast. That's why it's exciting. Yeah. And um, you, you can talk very quickly to, to big players um, from the financial industry, but there is no big players in uh, the security token industry. Right. Uh, so, you know, my background is in e-commerce, as I said just before. So in uh, the e-commerce field, you have big uh, payment providers and right. they trust the market. They do what they want with you. So uh, as a new startup, it's really hard to reach the right scale. Um, in this industry, you can, uh, you can provide a lot of value to your customers very quickly because there are no, no much players on the market. So we can work on concrete use cases and that's what uh, is really exi exciting. Is. Are you seeing any verticals that are outstripping others, any kinds of businesses that seem to be using this first? Yes, I think the investment funds mm. are really interesting targets. Uh, many people talk about real estate, mm -hmm. sure, because it's not very liquid. Um, so, and, and after you have equity. But yeah. equity is depend, like it's not clear if it will help uh, small companies or medium cap companies, um, maybe listed companies, but I don't think so. So no, I think okay. the real, uh, real estate funds, for example, are a good, a good example. And any kind of investment funds can be, uh, can be tokenized yeah. to, to bring more liquidity to investors, like especially closed-end funds. Yes. Where you don't want to invest your money for five, seven, 10 years and, and be uh, locked in your, uh, right. your investment. So, uh, so you can, by creating a secondary market, it can be very interesting for investors. Yes. So are you working with any particular partners, in, in, whether it's in platforms or exchanges or anything like that, that, that have yes. started to become friendly? We are talking friendly? with a lot of uh, exchanges. Uh -huh. um, most of them don't know exactly how they will handle the uh, permission token side and identities yeah. of, um, of investors, right. so be on-chain, off-chain. So, um, so it's really interesting to talk with all of these uh, partners from day one yes. uh, to be sure we, we can um, provide the right tokens to them. Yeah. Uh, so exchanges are a big part, but also big law firms, like global law firms. Because uh -huh. when you do a security token offering, you want to distribute in as many countries as possible. Yes. Uh, but it's really hard to find a law firm that can help you in all of these countries. <laughs> sure. Uh, so there are important partners and um, also broker dealers or uh, any, uh, any players that can bring investors to our clients. Right. What do you think has been the most difficult part of deciding to get into such a new industry and just basically weed whacking with a machete through the jungle? <laughs> what, what have you encountered as obstacles? Um, I think now, People know about blockchain. They know it's interesting. Yes. Um, the scam, crypto, it's a bit behind, so it's, uh, it's starting to be uh, easier. But there's still a lot of uh, incomprehension, and we, we have to uh, explain a lot what we can do mm -hmm. and uh, what are the missing uh, points. Like uh, uh, for us, the identity part is very important. For example, right. And um, it's good to talk about permission tokens and to transfer a token with a validator service. But what is this validator service, for example? So um, what is the role of the custodian? And because it's changing. Yes. Um, so um, we have to do a lot of education, a lot of evangelism. Um, but it, it's good because you know, it's, uh, we, we learn uh, as much as our well, <laughs> right. clients and partners. So it's, uh, it's interesting. So what's, what's on the horizon for, secure, for your company, Tokeny, in terms of the, secu the uh, security tokens, in terms of the business plan, in terms of where you think everything is going? So for Tokeny, we, we try to onboard three to four uh, clients a month. Uh, that's the maximum. Oh. We, we still do uh, some utility tokens, mm -hmm. uh, very selected ones. Um, but for the, the security tokens offering, definitely it's our main target uh, for many jurisdictions. Um, I think in Europe it will come very fast. So uh, we have a lot of projects uh, in, uh, in Switzerland or Northern Europe. Um, so our target is, is just to, to launch the first uh, STOs properly. Yeah. Uh, not small projects, but real projects with real assets um, uh, behind the token, you know? Yeah. And um, if we find the right uh, um, investment for the investors, if it's tokenized, it will be better. But um, the uh, the value will not be the token itself, it will be uh, the investment behind the token. So uh, we are trying to find the best project and to launch them properly. Got it. So if someone was hoping that they would be right for you in terms of wondering if they could work with Tokeny, mm -hmm. what would be the perfect profile for a prospect? A well-defined project with the mm -hmm. right team. Okay. Uh, and Does it have to be asset-backed? Uh, not necessarily, okay. but most, uh, most of the time it is. Usually it is, <laughs> yep. Okay. 
Uh, it is depending. There are so, um, so much innovation. We are receiving yes. very crazy projects. And <laughs> I bet. Some of them are so ambitious that it's exciting. Um, that way we have to filter. You know, the, uh, of course. We have to be sure they have time to do it, the right resources to do it, because it's okay. not cheap to do an STO. It's, it's complex. No. But it's also to raise millions. So um, it's not the same uh, craziness and for ICOs like with an MVP, you can raise hundreds of millions. Uh, but it's to, to raise big amounts of money, sure. um, dozens of millions. So it's, uh, it has to be well prepared and uh, you cannot launch an STO in two weeks. It, no. Does, it doesn't work. No. Yeah. Okay, so looking into your crystal ball, the Luke crystal ball, when will the, the security token industry become the norm? When will everybody be doing everything tokenized? Every fund is going to be tokenized so that the LPs can get out. <laughs> Every, my house is going to be tokenized so that my yeah. neighbors can have a piece of it. When's that going to, when's that going to happen? Yeah, it's For, a goal to tokenize the world, definitely. Yeah. Um, because uh, you, you have value everywhere. So right. let, let's represent it online so right. we can use it yes. and collateralize it. So we can do many things with this value. Um, but it's a bit a, a chicken egg problem, you know. Yeah. Like uh, we need to create the first good tokens, <laughs> yeah. uh, so it will be tradable. Uh, you will be able to, to use it to automate things. To, uh, um, but the, yeah, the target is to have uh, you know in your mobile uh, banking applications, and now they start to add some uh, investment tab. And so uh, I think very soon we'll be able to uh, to invest via tokens in uh, in good investment products. Great. Yeah. So All right. We'll see. My, I don't know in the, in the next few years, but it can be very fast. Okay. Yeah. Some people will find good niches, and and then we'll uh, automate and scale this process thanks to solutions like like Tokeny. So put it. Yeah, it's exciting. Well, I'm sure Tokeny will be right in the middle of all of that. So we wish you all the luck in the world, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.